Hello everyone. This is the third time I'm trying to record this video. Um, so hopefully third time's the charm, right? Is that the saying? Okay. Anyway, this is a six pack of bars that I ordered from Scentsy. Um, it's a very small haul. Obviously I picked up some bulbs and then just a six pack of bars because there were a few bring back my bar scents that I wanted to order. And then I just added a couple of my favorites to round it out to a six pack because that is the best deal you're going to get with Scentsy bars. Um, so the first one I picked up is vanilla waves. This is a recent favorite of mine from Scentsy. Oh my goodness. I love this. Um, the scent notes on here are sea salt, whipped vanilla, and sticky caramel. I honestly do not get any caramel in this. Like, I just really don't. Um, I get sea salt and vanilla, like a, I guess a whipped vanilla. Um, but to me, it smells more like a body care vanilla. It smells very fresh. Um, I know a lot of people definitely think this is very bakery. To me, it's not. I don't know if it's just something is off in my nose senses, <laughs> but this is a fresh vanilla to me. It's very summery and fresh and salty and I love it. Um, and it is a fairly strong performer, so I'm happy to have more of that. I would love to have that um, in body care, in laundry, in everything. I just love that scent. Okay, the next one I picked up is Peach Nectar. This is another favorite of mine. It's my favorite peach. Peach is very difficult for me. Um, I'm very picky with my peach scents. Oh, and I absolutely love this one. Not cat pee in the slightest. This is just... Oh my goodness. It's a really good peach with... I think it's blue freesia, so there is like a floral note, but it's a beautiful light floral note. And then like a muskiness. Mm, I love this. I love it by itself. I love to blend this with things. I love it for everything. Um, I did get a room spray of this to specifically just to spray on my clothing <laughs> because I would love a perfume in peach nectar. That is so pretty. Um, and I think that one is discontinuing. I would assume, let me make sure, but yeah, I don't see it in the new catalog. Um, so that one will be discontinuing. I'm going to have to put that in my club because I can't be without it. And if it doesn't come back next year, I will cry. Okay. So then on to the bring back my bar scents that I picked up. The first one is jet set go. I have tried this before. This was actually, I think this was still like a, a catalog scent when I first started trying Scentsy. Um, yeah, I don't know if I like this. I know I've had this, I, I had this before in laundry and I liked it in the laundry products. Mm, we'll have to see how it is on warm. And the notes are Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. So it's okay, but I'm not sure that I love it or that I need to like keep it in my club. I think I put several bring back my bars um, in my club or maybe just the ones that I purchased. I don't know, but I put some in my club. I'm pretty sure I put that in there, but I don't think I'm going to need to keep it in there. That papaya is just too tropical fruity for me. I'm not a tropical fruity person but it does smell very fresh and fruity, so I may like it on warm, we'll have to see. Um, the next one I picked up is Palo Santo. I know there's like 
a great divide with this scent. People either love it or they hate it. Um, I love this scent. I think the issue is that a lot of people haven't, a lot of people smelled Vendor Palo Santo before smelling this. I mean, they may not have liked this even if they smelled it first, but I find that Vendor Palo Santo, there's a couple different kinds. One of them is very masculine leaning. It's slightly cologne -y. Um, one of them is like a sweet, smoky kind of Palo Santo. And then I've also had some that are kind of in between those two types. Um, this Palo Santo from Sensi smells like actual burning Palo Santo wood. It smells like the real thing. Um, yeah. It smells so good though. Yeah, this smells like a stick of Palo Santo that you just lit and it's, you know, burning in your house. Um, yeah, it smells just like that. So I think maybe that's the issue is that a lot of people haven't actually smelled Palo Santo. Um, so this kind of just smells odd to them, but I love it. So if you have smelled Palo Santo and you are looking for that more authentic Palo Santo scent, um, Scentsy is the one for that. Um, I love all the Palo Santos. I love the vendor ones, the, the more masculine, the sweet smoky, all of them. I love all the Palo Santos. So I'm happy to have that. I did stick this in my club and it will probably stay in there at least for a while. Um, yeah, really good. Um, then I picked up Watermelon Mint. This is my favorite watermelon scent of all time. Again, I'm not a watermelon fan, just like I'm not a peach fan. I'm very picky with watermelon scents also. And this one I love. Mm, it's not authentic watermelon, but it's also not Jolly Rancher watermelon or hairspray watermelon. It's mm, it's a really nice, fresh, semi-authentic, semi-candy um, watermelon. Mm, I don't know what the mint is in here. Maybe spearmint. It might be spearmint. It smells like mint from your garden. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this. This smells like a drink to me, like a watermelon juice with mint. And that sounds really refreshing. Um, and let me show you. So you see that the label is green and then inside it's like a watermelon. How cute is that? I love that. So I did stick this one in my club. I don't know that I'll keep it in there forever, but I may keep it in there just for a few rounds so I can get a few bars. Um, okay. And then the last one I picked up is love story. This is the one that I've never tried before. I've never smelled this one. So I was excited to pick it up. Um, and I do have the scent notes. Let me see what they are because I forget. Let me smell it first. Oh, that's nice. I do like that. Um, Mm, yeah, I think I really like that. Okay, the notes are pink, jasmine, sensual amber, and luscious dark chocolate. So definitely jasmine and amber for sure. But I'm not getting chocolate. Maybe like a very slight hint of it. It's definitely not like... You definitely don't smell this and think chocolate at all. Mm, this is really pretty. I hope I stuck this one in my club. Yeah, I really like that. What did I say? Jasmine, amber, and dark chocolate. Yeah, I don't get dark chocolate. If it is in there, it's like a very tiny bit. 
but we'll have to see if that comes out on warm or if it stays like this. I really like this. So glad I picked it up. If it's in my club, I think I will keep it in there for a little while. Um, you know, depending on how this performs, I'll, I, I would probably try this in my bedroom to start with. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the bars I picked up. The only one, I mean, obviously I've tried all the other ones except for the love story, but the only one that I'm not like super happy with is Jet Set Go. Um, but we'll see how that one warms up also. So yeah, that's, that was that order. Um, like I said, it was just a small order. I just wanted to make sure I grabbed some of those, bring back my bar scents. Um, and then I need to decide if they need to stay in my club. That's always not fun to do. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've tried any of these or if you picked up any of these from last month's Bring Back My Bar, um, let me know what you think or if any of them sound good to you, let me know what you think. Also, I would be interested to know what you guys think of the Palo Santo. If you've tried Vendor Palo Santo and the Sensi Palo Santo, um, do you agree with me that it's more of a authentic Palo Santo scent? compared to the vendor scents. Um, yeah, I would be interested to see what you think. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.